Dr. Yu Ping Huang is the chairman of the board and chief quantum officer for Quantum Computing Incorporated. You can see here that Dr. Yu Ping Huang is the majority shareholder and holds 18.6% of the company according to Simply Wall Street. And you can see over the last month it's been trading anywhere between $11 all the way down to $7.49. And if we look at the six month mark, again, you can kind of see that it's been trading as low as under $1. And then what with all the recent media hype, it's shot up to over $20 at one point and then come back down. And so one of the first things I do when I evaluate a company is I look at the people running the company. And in particular, what I'm looking for is high inside ownership from certain individuals. And so one of the reasons for this is that with the most successful companies in the world, there's always a visionary leader, someone who's spearheading the company, who has a very clear vision and is communicating that vision to the rest of the team, but is really driving the innovation behind that company as well. When you look at the likes of Steve Jobs at Apple, Elon Musk at Tesla, Warren Buffett at Berkshire Hathaway, Jeff Bezos at Amazon, and even Jensen Huang at NVIDIA, they've all played a critical role in forming those companies, in developing the ethos of that company, and shaping the moats of those respective companies. And so that's why I primarily look for individuals. I'm looking for individuals, like I said, with this high inside ownership, and I'm trying to draw sim similarities from the, the past of successful, highly innovative companies that I've mentioned, where they've had a visionary leader who's held a lot of company stock and has driven that ethos, that culture of innovation. You can see right here, Dr. Yu Ping Huang's profile on the Stevens Institute of Technology. And right down here at the bottom, you can see a breakdown of all of the research publications and journal articles. Through this, you can kind of see that this is his life's work. You know, he's been dedicated his whole career to this industry. Yu Ping has a vision for, for quantum computing. He wants to bring quantum computing to the world because he wants to have a big impact on the social benefit of this world. And he knows that quantum computing can do that. Dr. Yu Ping Wang is a special individual. He has a vision for applying himself, his mind, his body to doing something that is really truly valuable he is so passionate and committed about the science that he has such a strong vision of what this core technology can do. We know that we are onto something, right? We know that uh, there are some near-term problems that we can help with, but uh, we also know that there are much, much bigger problems we can make significant contributions to. This is the most uh, exciting part. I'm very optimistic about uh, the quantum future. And so back to Yu Ping Huang, you can see from this article here on the Stevens Institute website, he was raised in a tiny farming village in southern China. You can see right here that it says that he couldn't see himself working on the family farm alongside his parents and brother raising, you know, rice, vegetables and ducks. And so when you look at Yu Ping Huang's background, you know, he's come from China, you know, English is not his first language. So he's come from a remote village in southern China somewhere where his family were basically farmers. You know, he's had to overcome so many barriers, so many hurdles to get to the US, to get to where he is right now. And I'll go into a bit more details later on in that video. But this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for, you know. Business owners are gonna come across a lot of setbacks and problems. And I wanna make sure that the individual that I'm investing in, because that's effectively what I'm doing, you know, has demonstrated those certain qualities in the past. And so if there's an example of like some serious hardship that they've gone through in the past, and you know, almost proof that they have the character to overcome such hurdles, you know, that again is gonna inject me with confidence when I'm looking to evaluate in certain companies. Yu Ping Huang is the majority shareholder of Quantum Computing, and this actually came as a result of his company, a company that he set up called QPhoton, which was acquired by Quantum Computing, and in that transaction, he became the majority shareholder of Quantum Computing. You can see right here that it states, as a result of the transaction, QPhoton becomes the wholly owned subsidiary of QCI. Dr. Yu Ping Huang, the CEO of QPhoton, joins QCI as Chief Quantum Officer, as well as a director. And you can see here, he has over 20 years of pioneering R&D, so research and development, in quantum physics and technology, and has so far created and led a strong portfolio of quantum research projects with circa 30 million funds from DARPA, National Science Foundation, the Navy, Air Force, Army, NASA, and the private sector as well. On top of that, you can also see here that he is one of the two engineers at QCI, at Quantum Computing Incorporated, who received the prestigious Edison Patent Award for groundbreaking quantum cybersecurity invention. You can see right here, it states, the patent underlying the award represents a milestone in the field of quantum information networks, a critical domain in the ongoing battle against cybersecurity threats 
facing the industry, government and individuals. One of the things to consider in the context of this new invention discovered by Yu Ping Huang and one of his associates, they identified new ways to secure data online to enhance cybersecurity. You know, the internet is a critical component of our everyday lives these days. We use the internet for pretty much everything from banking, shopping, communication, as well as our work. And one of the things to consider in the context of this new um, invention discovered by Yu Ping Huang and one of his associates is around medical records, you know, and banks as well. Both of these industries hold a lot of sensitive information. And so this new uh, patented invention that they've discovered is something that could potentially be applied to these kind of industries in the future. And so the prestigious Edison Award for Groundbreaking Innovations is an award that's been won by a whole host of kind of really credible companies. You can see right here from this press release that previous winners of the Edison Patent Award include Bristol Myers Squibb, Colgate Palmolive Company, Exxon Mobil, Merck, Nokia, Qualcomm, Siemens, and the US Army as well.